American children are experiencing a new epidemic of tooth decay. More cavities in very young children, more cavities between the teeth, and cavities even in children with dental sealants. Dental sealants protect only the chewing surfaces of the teeth. Decay can develop on the sides and especially at contact points between teeth. We call decay in these hard to reach areas interproximal. Cavities in my practice between the teeth are very common. I actually see more of that now than I am seeing um, cavities on the biting surfaces of the teeth. Many pediatric dentists, such as Dr. Linda Steele, are detecting more interproximal decay than traditional cavities on top of teeth. Our American diet is loaded with sugars. A diet high in sugar plays a role. So do oral hygiene habits, especially flossing. Usually I always ask my parents if they're flossers themselves because that's a key thing. Five-year-old Connor Mashinsky has two cavities between baby teeth, a surprising diagnosis for his parents. The ones in between the teeth like Connor has are hard to spot and you, br you brush and all those things, but it doesn't quite get everything, apparently, because <laughs> mm -hmm. I was a little surprised when he had some. Dentists often detect interproximal decay through routine dental x-rays. Checkups every six months and x-rays once a year. A checkup may be the best time for a flossing lesson. Wrap the floss kind of around one tooth, pull mm -hmm. it out, and then the other tooth and pull it out. The child can lay down on the parent's lap, their head. The parent can sit on the sofa. The child can look up and the parent can floss. Like most things, parents set the example. Make sure your children see you brush and floss so you can help them develop good habits. For Texas A&M Health Science Center, Baylor College of Dentistry, I'm Dr. Linda Neeson.